Hey guys, this is probably going to be the shortest video I've ever posted on my channel. I was planning on vlogging this day and just didn't wind up with enough footage. I started out this morning. It's the last morning in Stockholm, so I went down to have breakfast in our hotel and work on some postcards, have a coffee and wake up. Here's me trying to be artistic. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I'm really sleepy, as you can tell. It's been a very long week, but it's been a whole lot of fun. I wrote out postcards to everybody in my family and sent them out from the front desk and then went back to the room to pack up all of my luggage and get ready to leave Stockholm. Wouldn't you know, the sun came out for the first time all week on the morning that we had to leave, and I just wanted to get one little glimpse of that beautiful blue Sweden sky. We called an Uber to take us on the drive back to the Arlanda airport, probably about a 30 minute drive. Passed a couple cool things, including that big lamp and this weird looking bridge on the way to the airport. My friend's flight left around noon, but mine did not leave until 9 p.m. So that meant I had nine hours to kill in the airport. That is not easy. There's not a lot to do in this airport. I did walk around and looked for some coffee found this it was actually not very good coffee and I didn't finish it I tried to do a little shopping but I didn't see anything I really wanted so I set up camp at this desk and basically just sat here and looked at planes for almost the entire day and I'm about as bored as I look in this video right here I tried to get on this flight both of my friends are on it going to Iceland nine hours before me but as it turns out Iceland Air does not participate in standby flying and there was absolutely nothing I could do to get my ticket changed to get on that flight so no big deal I wasn't too upset about it I would have liked to have been on their flight but it's all right we weren't able to book that so I just waited for my flight which was nine hours later this is what I had to eat in the airport a hamburger with no bun I did try a couple of the french fries and they were delicious. Then I propped up my luggage and had the best airport nap I could manage to get. <laughs> my gate got changed so I had quite a long walk to go from the original gate to the new gate but it turns out the new gate was in a much nicer much larger terminal and I had a lot more room to spread out. By this point it was already after dark which was making me sleepy and I couldn't wait to get on my flight to Iceland. And there's my plane. I hope you've enjoyed this shortest, most boring video ever. I can't wait to spend a day in Reykjavik.